Well, hey there, you're on the internet. I have some free time, and welcome to the Triple N Network, where all you newbie nib nerds can find all the news you'll need. Let's look at an ink today, shall we? First, I'd like to preface with an apology for any potential shaky cam, because I am seriously caffeinated right now. Okay, so today's ink is by Noodlers, part of their V Mail series Midway Blue. Kind of like the bottle art, it's got all the planes and countries that were involved in the Battle of Midway. It's a light blue, and all the tests were done in this Quaco Ice Sport with a medium nib. Let's check out the chromatography. Now, this ink is labeled as being partially waterproof, and I'd say partial is the operative word. Um, it's not, it's not great. Uh, as you can see, I put the dot down here, some remained, most of it went up, and then at the very edge there's this dark blue sort of halo thing up at the top. Okay. Starting from the top down in density, Clairefontaine 90 grams per square meter. 10 seconds to dry, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's a medium nib and it's... The flow was okay. In fact, I checked just now to see if it was lubricated because it seemed to do particularly well on these super smooth papers, so I thought I'd just check, but apparently it's not. Uh, there is no bleed feather spread, no sheen, and I said the echo doesn't seem problematic because it's a fairly light ink and it's fairly dense paper. Now, the water test was somewhat disappointing. As you can see, there's still some there but really not a whole lot, and it left a little bit of a dye around, and I mean, and then the drip test is, eh, so, moving on, here's Rhodia, 80 grams per square meter, 8 seconds to dry, I felt like the, she the shading was just a bit better here, like you see in the T, or, you know, just like the bottom of the B there versus the S, so, yeah, uh, Good flow, no sheen, not much echo, again. Water test is still kind of eh. It's kind of there, but not super there. Not too bad. Next is Tomoe River Paper. 13 seconds to dry, which is longer than I was expecting. Usually when it takes longer to dry on here than it does on Clairefontaine, it tends to be a lubricated ink, but it's not. So, But again, medium nib, it's not too bad. You get good shading, which I feel like you see pretty well right there. And this is a very bright blue ink. This is about as light a blue as I like to go. It's very vibrant. It's... Uh, yeah, it's a light blue, it, and here in the drip test, I smeared it when I was trying to dab. Anyways, water test, really not great. It's pretty much all gone. For some reason, it's coming up really fluorescent on the camera. But, uh, anyways, it had a great wet flow. I mean, it was like, it's like the pen was on rails, just really smooth on this paper. And since the ink is fairly light, You'd have to be fairly sensitive for it to bother you for the echo. Next is 20 pound copier paper, and this is the new horrible paper, so dried almost instantly, but there's spread and feathering, and it looks pretty wooly, and it's not it's not pretty, but the flow could keep up with such an absorbent paper. Water test is I mean, it's more there than we've seen in the previous test, but it's it's explodey and feathery, and I mean, you should see what it, it's doing to this paper. It's like you can feel, ugh. yeah. And look at that. So I put the drop down on the other side, and it bled through the paper and started to soak into the paper from underneath. This paper is just god awful. Anyways, uh, next is Mead notebook paper. Two seconds to dry. Uh, the ink was still pretty bright here, which I admired, because a lot of times this this really cheap paper, something about the absorbency tends to, like, suck away all the bright colors. But here, it kept it pretty bright. Uh, the water test 
wasn't too bad. It did get a little explodey and feathery and it's not all there, but we've seen worse. And there was some bleed, which considering this is just a medium nib, somewhat disappointing, but... Mm. And lastly is Moleskin Notebook Paper, where it took six seconds to dry, which I can't really explain. But, uh, yeah, you get sort of like the, I don't know, you get like hints of shading. Like, if you look at the top of the S there versus the bottom, there's a little bit. But there's feather and spread. I hope I can get this on camera. Like, if you look at the bottom of the A and the D, yeah, it's pretty messy. Uh, it's, and I said nib isn't crazy because it's not super wet, it's not super broad, and it was still having this much trouble. The water test was okay on a sliding scale. I mean, it's fairly there. It didn't dye the paper too much. It didn't explode too much. But, yeah, I mean, it could have been worse. I mean, maybe if you had it in an extra fine and a dry writer, maybe you could do okay on this paper, but, uh... Uh, I'm, I'm picky. This this would bother me. So, anyways, for your consideration, Noodler's Midway Blue from the V-Mail series. Not terribly water resistant. It is a bright color. It's very well behaved. It makes writing on the finer, smoother papers just feel like oh, it's like glassy. It's just so smooth. Uh, not not it's not perfect, but I do like it quite a bit and. Like I said, I don't like to go much lighter than this, and still I've used, uh, like, about that much. So, for your consideration from the Triple N Network, Noodler's V-Mail Midway Blue. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Bye.